Let's talk together about skin tutorials, skincare tutorials. Are these the best way to understand skincare? And maybe an even more important question, are these the best way to understand your skincare and your own skin? Hi skincare people, welcome to DH Traveler, either for the first time or you already know the channel. I'm actually in good mood, I was checking the statistics uh, in uh, YouTube studio and I see the channel is picking up a little bit and accelerating the number of followers. So this is good news uh, when we do a channel. Of course, we are happy that we are heard and that uh, there is interaction with the channel. So if you're already following the channel, if you subscribe, I'm very happy. If not, please consider doing it. This is a space for skincare. I also lately uh, have been spending more time on Instagram and I have the feel. So also making here a little bit a moment of uh, introspective where I want to go with the channel. I think I will be spending more time even so on Instagram. So if you want to follow me, also consider DH Traveler, the same name account on Instagram. Uh, why I think I'll spend more time on Instagram? It's simply because Instagram is uh, more spontaneous. Uh, YouTube demands a bit more curating, a bit more editing and post-production, at least for me, the way I like to do the YouTube videos. So I'm always here on Fridays. So far have been, I think I only missed one Friday in one year. Uh, I think uh, maybe I will sometimes do it, sometimes not be here, but by all means, I'm not quitting the channel. I will keep on having this space and coming here. But for those of you who like to follow more on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, I will do more Instagram short videos on Instagram. So today, I thought that um, we could talk a little bit uh, eyes to eyes about skincare tutorials. This is something that I'm asked many times uh, from your side uh, whether I would do a tutorial to show my skincare, to show exactly what products I apply, what is my routine. I know that this is immensely, immensely popular in social media. You have tutorials and you have uh, routines from celebrities. Some of you get extremely influenced. That's where the word comes uh, with all these things and we um, are driven into this idea of uh, maybe if I do the same thing, if I use the same products, if I follow the same sequence, maybe I have the best results. So why? I think you're already getting where I'm heading to. Um, why I never did a tutorial and very likely why I will never do a tutorial because I think as human beings we have options of uh, how we want to approach reality and learn and develop ourselves and I'm a firm believer that we should go from universal to particular and not particular to universal meaning first we should understand skin we should understand skin as an organ, as a biological entity, then we should understand ingredients, and then we should think brands, and then we should think influencers. So I think oftentimes I feel that some people put it all the other way around. You start with the influencer, just because the influencer is inspiring, it's, it's a nice person, uh, and don't take me wrong, I, I don't say that watching those tutorials per se has anything negative. Uh, it's entertainment. Um, the person might be very fun or nice to look at. Um, her style, his style, the clothes, the, the, the setup, it's something which motivates you. For me, the problem comes when we define skincare as those tutorials, those curate, curated uh, collections. You know, something that upsets me to, to the core. It's when I see uh, collections of skincare which are purely Instagram production type of posts. All the colors are matching, all the textures are matching, and this is the way we align our skincare. You know, those little uh, skincare uh, cupboards that people open, and then you get hundreds of likes saying that it's a beautiful collection. I'm sorry, I worked for 30 years in skincare. I love skincare, I love ingredients. I've seen skincare making the life of people better, more exciting, people 
having more self-esteem and I don't think as human beings we go in a good direction to match the color of the packaging and the color of the jars with the bottles. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, it's not the way. And of course, it's very tempting because worshipping people, it's the easiest thing. We decide that person is perfect, that person is right, uh, I'm going to do as that person, instead of worshipping ideas. So my worship is for the idea of skin biology. I'm always talking in the channel about skin biology uh, because I think if you understand skin deep down, if you understand the basics, how skin works, you will very easily then understand the basics of your own skin because it's also an element here who says that the influencer skin is so aligned with your own skin that whatever products the influencer is using are correct for you. I mean, if you see the channel, you'll see that I have always shared my favorite products and I always say I'm 50 years old, I have an oily skin, I have tendency to pigmentation, I don't really worry so much about wrinkles, uh, but being 50 years old, of course, uh, maybe the, the density, the texture of the skin, it's of course not the same, but I also don't worry so much about that. So if you are my age and my skin type, maybe my products are good for you. Sometimes I also talk about products which I know are not good for me, but because of their formulation or because of uh, evidence I've seen uh, with people who use them, people with dry skin, people with total different age from mine. But this you see, it's an advice coming from this flexible approach that in the end you have to know your skin and you have to know your own skin reactions to the various ingredients. So I always tried in the channel to talk about ingredients more than talk about brands and about products. You know, sometimes I also say uh, I don't like the idea of brand philosophies. Actually, I detest the idea of brand philosophies. Uh, skincare is not about philosophy. Skincare, it's about biology. So it's a universal science. It's not a human science. Uh, philosophy, it, it's one of the most, if not the most important area of knowledge. And uh, humans need to go back to philosophy much more than to politics and so many things that today make life more complicated. But skincare, it's also becoming too political. It's also becoming too much of this marketing and brand philosophies. You know what is a brand philosophy? It's a brand deciding that skin is like this, skin is like that. It's about this ingredient. Now it's all this oil, it's all this plant, it's all this vitamin or this peptide. So one peptide solves it all. If you want to follow this, you will end up in tears because that's not how health, uh, body, skin, function. So enough of this lecture. I just wanted to at the same time share with those of you who know the channel in a more informal way that I really invite you to follow me more on Instagram because I think I will be more active on Instagram. We see each other here every Friday. Maybe I will miss one or two but then you already know if I miss a Friday it's not because uh, anything is wrong. It's just because also we are finishing vacation. Uh, maybe traveling will be possible again and in terms of my professional life as the person behind Swiss Line, I will have to try to, to, to get back uh, all these almost two years lost in terms of coaching and supporting the markets and developing the brand out there. But maybe I'm going to miss so much that I'll be here every Friday. So time will tell. There are two reasons to stay connected and follow the channel. One, because after all, I'm going to be here always or because I'm going to be here less and then we have to see each other and always, always leave comment below. So about what I just said, maybe you can tell me some of you who are not on Instagram at all, leave me a comment just saying I'm not on Instagram, I'm not on Instagram. This uh, will mean something for me for sure. And just to make something useful out of this video, which is kind of not useless, but not very to the point and not very objective. When I say don't follow tutorials, don't follow influencers just without going deeper into skincare, into understanding how skin functions, I want to advise you a book, which is the Penguin book. You can buy it for 
um, 10 dollars maybe you will find it for less than that so in penguin uh, the remarkable life of skin monty lyman who is a british dermatologist uh, this is one of the books i believe it's a very good base to understand skin i will leave in the comment in the, in the description of uh, of the video i will leave uh, a link to the to the book it's a very good way to understand skin from inside out not too scientific, not too complicated. By the way, I have nothing to do with the author, the book. Um, this is just a personal and friendly advice because I would love to know that the people in the channel and the people who sympathize with me and with whom I always sympathize with because, you know, there is a dynamic when you sympathize with me. I have no other option than sympathizing with you. Even some of you on Instagram and here, I already know your names and Know where you come from but I would really feel uh, happy if the people following the channel are really committed to developing themselves deeper and further and not just taking those influence inspirations which are extremely volatile extremely not accurate most of the times and oftentimes even not adapted to your needs so i hope some of these made sense very little editing so maybe if i come to this style with less editing i can do more often youtube so time will tell it was nice spending this time with you and talk to you soon either here or on instagram take care always say no to boring skincare and boring influencers like myself maybe ciao